back in Toronto. And this time, we're going to the most amazing Instagrammable picture taking spots. We have our top favorite ones and we're gonna show you each one. So we're here at the very first location. It's on the corner of Queen Street West and Bay Street. And this is kind of an iconic location. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys ever seen pictures of Toronto or anything like that, but if you have, you've probably seen this location before. And not only is the Toronto sign beautiful, it illuminates at nighttime, and there's also a lot of beautiful architecture all around. So this is a great photo spot. And this is our number one spot on the left. pretty cheesy when it comes to photography because a lot of photos get taken in graffiti alleys or places with graffiti but I personally love this location there's a lot of like cool little spots like this for example like little corners or all the walls are painted with graffiti and uh, I feel like it's kind of looking like post-apocalyptic which is my favorite theme when it comes to movies as well so this location is pretty cool if you're into the whole graffiti photography and videography thing as you guys can tell it's looking amazing here as you can see, there's a lot of other photographers here taking pictures. There's also people taking pictures for personal use, Instagram, all of that. There's a lot of different different elements and types of graffiti to suit anybody for their picture needs. There's a lot of cool messages like choose love, cherish our planet, element brings these murals together. I can't really remember all of them, but it's a really sick spot. When we were planning our route to show you guys all these beautiful locations in Toronto, me and Zay were kind of talking about getting a Toronto transit pass or some kind of a day pass where we can actually take transit around. But last second we decided not to do that and we decided to do it walking around instead, which was a good decision, but we are dressed in long pants. And I'm wearing a backpack that has all the camera gear and it's super warm outside and my back is just sweating like crazy. But we're at our next, next location, as you can tell. This one is called Canoe Landing Park. And there's a whole park over there behind me. There's this nice canoe where you can take photos and there's also a little splash pad for kids down there right underneath me behind me and uh, you also got a pretty nice unique view of the CN Tower from this location as well uh, it's kind of blocked by that building at the moment but you can kind of see it if you walk around a little bit so definitely a cool place to check out and uh, lots to do you know there's a lot of places to walk around a lot of shops and stuff to check out so yeah just another spot one more thing regarding the transit that I mentioned, it would be totally worth it for you guys to get a transit pass, like a day pass or something, where you can actually use the subway, you can use the trams, the buses, and whatever else falls into the Toronto Transit umbrella. And uh, if you're going to explore further places, I would definitely recommend it because it's hard to explore all of Toronto or all of these places on foot in one day. Toronto video if you haven't seen that one yet make sure you guys click there and check it out 
but that would be another great option to get around and not have to walk so much. It's much quicker. For our next destination, when you think of Toronto, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The CN Tower, obviously, right? We are here at this iconic tower, massive standing. I think at one point it was one of the tallest buildings in the world, but I think something in Dubai took over that. But we are here because this is the most Instagrammable thing you can do while in Toronto. So the next place we're at is 181 Bay Street and uh, this is a really nice building. It's probably not as popular of a tourist destination as the previous places we've showed you, but there's some absolutely beautiful architecture as you can see if you look up there in the building and it's a great spot for photos and uh, there's also some restaurants located in here, probably towards the high end, so this is not a budget place to be in. While we were in Toronto, we forgot to record an outro for this video and now we're back in our home city in Windsor. So this will be the outro for the video. We really do hope you guys enjoyed the spots that we took you to. And one more thing, the, while we're editing this video, we realized that we really messed up on the audio in some parts because Toronto is loud and we didn't really think about that at the time. So next time, in our next videos, we'll make sure to bring a microphone and we'll fix that issue but leave a comment down below about which one was your favorite spot. Leave a like and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.